Do you know there's big mistakes that you can make when you get into the ATM business? Stay at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you what some of those are. Hi, I'm Phil from the ATM Mastermind Group page, and we help hundreds of aspiring ATM business owners go from zero ATMs to ATM Business Pro in as little as 30 days. All right, so one of the reasons why I wanna make this video is because I see constantly, and this drives me crazy, you guys making mistakes or people giving you bad advice that cause you to make these mistakes, and it will cost you a lot of money either right away or going forward. So I just get frustrated. I want to share this, and hopefully you guys listen, and stop making these mistakes and don't listen to these people who are giving us bad advice because it's bad advice. All right, point number one. I say this so many times, please take note of this. Do not put an ATM in a location without an SLA. So there's a lot of people out there saying, oh, just put an ATM in a location, try it for 30 days, try it for 60 days. And you're talking to the business owners and they, they somebody, cut a deal for you to put this ATM with no location agreement on a trial basis, 30, 60, 90, 120 days. And then after it makes money or if it doesn't, then you can make decision. Do you want to sign an SLA? Why is this a problem? This is why it's a problem because you're negotiating or you're hustling backwards. You already showed your cards. How can you win at poker when you already showed your cards? You can't. What you want to do is you sign an SLA going into the door every time without exception. You negotiate the deal on the front end of the deal. Do not negotiate it on the back end of the deal. Do not hustle backwards. So you tell them what the surcharge is, you tell them what the commission is, and now you have a deal. If the deal doesn't work out and you sign an SLA, pull the ATM out, no big deal. But if it does make money, you're in the driver's seat. You're gonna make the money that you said you're gonna make and you're gonna pay the commission that you promised the location. That way the location cannot come back on you and ask for more money or refuse to sign an SLA, or say, hey, if you don't like it, take your ATM out. Those are all ways you're hustling backwards, you're gonna get hurt, and after all, you got in this business to make more money. Let's keep you making more money. Hi, this is Phil from PQ Merchant Enterprises, and we're here to just let you guys know that we also sell wireless devices in case you guys need a wireless device, and we also sell parts in case you guys need any parts for your ATMs. We also offer processing, so if you're buying an ATM from us, we can offer processing, or you, you bought an ATM from somebody else and now you want to change, you want to process with somebody else, we can also offer processing for you guys. If you just want to mention a promo code, which is 2023, we're going to take an additional $50 off if you order an ATM. And with this special, we're also going to offer $50 off for any new ATM sales. Just mention the promo code 2023 and we'll take an additional $50 off our regular price of the ATMs. So just want to let you guys know that we appreciate any and all your business. And thank you guys for being part of the ATM Mastermind Group. And thank you for being part of the PDQ family. Point number two. So some of you guys are out there working with locators. Hey, a lot of locators out there, they're really wonderful people. They help you find locations. You're trying to find locations, grow your business. I get that. But do not pay these people without bolting your ATM to the floor. What does that mean? Until your ATM is in a location, until you send an SLA, until you bolted that ATM down the floor, do not pay that for a promise that they can't deliver. They basically made a deal with the location owner that will say, Hey, we got, we got a rep coming over. He's going to talk to you about the deal. And then what you do is you pay them for that lead. It's a warm lead at best. You have to make it a cold sale. And the only way to do that is put your ATM in a location, have them sign an SLA. Do not pay these people. They run off with your money and you know the ATM, look, the location doesn't work out. And now you're chasing them. Hey, when's my next deal? Where can I get it? Don't do that. I see it all the time. Some, some of you guys go to chats and you, you go on there and you say, take this location. You pay them, they give you the location and it turns out it basically went in a phone book and, and dialed somebody up. Don't do it. Don't pay them until you bolt that ATM down. So if you're thinking about starting your own profitable ATM business, but didn't know where to start, stay at the end of the video and I will share with you our checklist entitled ATM Business Passive Income Checklist. The five things you need to know to start a profitable ATM business. So you can have a passive income source for your family. You'll have a clear roadmap towards ATM business success. All right, let's get back to the video. Point number three, don't pay for cold calling services. This is the best scam in the world. You're gonna pay somebody to basically dial a business owners and you're paying for a per dial. Oh, I'm gonna make four, I'll make 40 calls for you and I'm gonna charge you $6. I'll make a thousand calls for you and I'm gonna charge you $40. Okay, great. What results you got? They made a bunch of phony calls and hey, maybe they are legitimate calls. Hi, I'm Phil from PDQ 
And you know what? Do you need an ATM? Nope. Okay, click. One call. All right, don't do that. It costs you guys money. Those services aren't good. Trust me, everything that's out there, I have tried. I have tried because I want to recommend good services to you guys. If I found somebody that was worth something, I would recommend them right away. But I've tried everything that's out there because I want to recommend it to you guys if it's worth anything. So you can build your business. That's why we have this program, is to help you guys build your business. So these people who are, are going to cold call for you, it's a bunch of garbage. It's not real. These people are not the legitimate people. They're just counting you on your money and don't fall for them. Point number four. So you get an ATM business, somebody sells you an ATM, and then they say, hey, I'm gonna get you a vaulter so you can do a hands-off program. Okay, you don't have any history. Nobody's gonna vault your ATM unless you have current history. And the number is they want 100 transactions a month. You got 10 transactions a month, nobody's gonna vault that ATM. They have to make money. So don't think if you get into the business, you're gonna get a vaulter unless you have proven track record. So the only way you do it is you're gonna have to vault it yourself. Maybe you can rely on a relationship. We have helped people get vaulters, but you know what? It, it's on my relationship with that person, basically beg, borrowing and stealing for them to do me a favor to help these new people. And you know what? It doesn't work every time. So if you think you're gonna get in the business and get a vaulter, it's gonna be hard unless you have a good enough location which we call an average location, which is 100 transactions. Without 100 transactions, you're not going to be able to get a vaulter because it's very hard. That person who's going to vault your ATMs will want to make some money. And if they're not making any money, they're not going to do it. It doesn't make any sense. And point number five, and this is another big one I see all the time you guys make this mistake, is you go on eBay, instead of buying a brand new ATM, you're just starting in the business, you go on eBay, you see an ATM for $600, $700, you buy that ATM, and then it turns out to be a mini bank 1500 with no EMV, and it's gonna cost you $1,500 to upgrade with a keypad and EMV. You could bought a brand new ATM for somewhere between $2,200 and $2,500. So don't buy used when you're starting out in the business. I tell you guys repeatedly, I don't want you guys to get hurt out there by buying somebody else's mess that you don't know what you're buying. You're in the game for a while, you got four or five ATMs, no problem. Go ahead and, and take the shot. Sometimes you can find some good stuff, but some of the ATMs that they sell on eBay, they're 10, 15 years old, they're out of compliance and they can't be updated. So if you're interested in starting your own ATM business, I wanna invite you to our free checklist entitled ATM Business Passive Income Checklist. The five things you need to know to start a profitable ATM business, where you can start earning passive income, make more money and spend more time with your family. So if you're interested, click the link down below and start your ATM journey today. Again, this is Phil from the ATM SMI Group page where we buy your freedom back one transaction at a time. Thank you guys for making us number one on YouTube, and I'll see you guys in the next video.